Hi guys, I'm Kasha. Welcome to the channel and welcome as always to our Coffee Times to discuss movies in horror. But today I am here to talk to you about a TV show that just released on Prime. I'm talking about the horror of Dolores Roach. It's Coffee Time. So the horror of Dolores Roach, when it was announced, I was excited um, because I was excited to see another potential cool serial killer TV show like Swarm that I really enjoyed. And also I really liked the cast of this one. So I knew the moment it landed on Prime, I had to binge it, watch it, let you guys know what I thought about it. But as always, it's going to be spoiler free and specifically with this TV show, I'm going to keep a lot of information to myself because it is one of those TV shows that even though it is short, it has quite some twists in terms of the story. The horror of Dolores Roach is a black comedy horror television series and we have Justina Machado that takes here the main role as Dolores. It is based on a one woman off Broadway show called La Empanada Loca and also a podcast by the same name created by Aaron Mark. So Aaron Mark has had 10 years basically since he started with this to create this TV show and now he brings us eight episodes of about half an hour each that just landed on Prime this week. When Dolores Roach is released after an unjust prison sentence, she reunites with an old friend who lets her work as a masseuse. When the promise of her newfound stability is threatened, Dolores is driven to shocking extremes to survive. The TV show starts focusing on the character of Dolores and it starts a little bit slow paced trying to develop her backstory to let us know what happened to her before we get to the murders because from the very beginning, from the get-go on the first episode, you already know that Dolores is supposed to be a serial killer and from there we get to see her story told by herself. The TV show starts slowly developing the characters, letting us know a little bit, you know, where we are, the setting, and it tells the story of Dolores, as you can expect. So Dolores is a woman that has just been released from prison and she spent there 16 years of her life. So when she comes out, things have changed a lot. She goes back to her old neighborhood because that is all she knows and that is Washington Heights. But when she gets there, the Latino neighborhood that she knew has been gentrified. There is a lot of new stores, there's a lot of, uh, you know, uh, stores owned by white people and she feels really out of place, things are not the way that she remembers and the only thing that she can find to remind her of home is a food store, like a food restaurant called Empanada Loca. She goes there and she's so happy to see nothing has changed and now the son of the owner is the one running the business so she feels right back at home. Apart from Dolores who is obviously our main character, there is another big character in the show called Luis and he is now the owner of the Empanada Loca. It was owned by his father and now he runs the business but business is not going really well. Dolores is fresh out of prison so she really doesn't want to get into trouble. She does really not want to go back to jail so she's trying to do things right and the show is kind of giving you an idea of what it means to be Latina, having no family, coming out of prison, you know, being someone that is struggling to find a job in such a neighborhood and how hard it is to find a job in that circumstance. And it's quite interesting, you know, we've seen this gentrification of neighborhoods done before in movies um, like Bingo Hell and other Amazon movies as well. And I really love the take that the director took with this one. It is because Dolores is a character that is giving a lot of humanity, even though we know from the very beginning that she's going to do terrible things. But we care a lot for her as a character. We really feel for her. And there is also a lot of comic relief in this TV show that works really well. Almost you don't want to laugh <laughs> because it's quite black humor so it might not work for everybody but I found myself having a really good time with the show. The first half of the show is a little bit more 
slow pace building up everything with some comedy and it is when we hit a little bit more like the mid mark and the last episodes of the show everything really escalates it gets funnier but also gorier and there is a lot more you know depictions of horrible scenes and moments that might not be for everybody there's a lot of body horror in the show um but for me i really love the combination and as somebody that doesn't always enjoy horror comedies this one was the perfect balance between horror and black comedy i think black comedy really works for me i think you know dolores as a character and how well she was played by justina machado really helped to build up you know the attention to build up the show for the big reveals she has to go through so much chaos and it's just fantastic i think the show really pays off in the in the last episodes and it really helps escalate things to the next level i think the performances and the chemistry the amazing chemistry and balance the dynamic between dolores and luis is fantastic and i just love to see them you know getting back and forth and how different they are as characters but they are forced to work together in this tv show because they both have truly no other choice Throughout mostly the entirety of the TV show, you're going to notice that the color palettes that they use are really warm. There's a lot of yellows and oranges and you can feel that air is really hot in the streets and also really hot in the kitchen. And you can almost like feel the sweat and the nastiness of, you know, these type of small businesses in the height summer and i feel like everything helped a lot with how gross and how disgusting the whole tv show was supposed to be especially like i said in the second half but the show's best part is wondering how far these characters will go seeing them push and past all common sense and decency dolores and louise are bundles of contradictions and they are funny they bring a lot of humor but they're also dangerous they are like someone you know until they aren't at the end of the day, I know this TV show might not be for everybody, but I ended up giving it a 3 out of 5 because the horror worked for me, the humor worked for me, and I had a really good time. I binged this in one day, I was obsessed, I wanted to finish it, and it was really entertaining. So for all of those reasons, and you know, it has great acting, and I thought it was a great watch so it is a show that I can truly recommend to you guys and it is a show that is making you as the audience both root for the main characters but also kind of be against them because the things that they are doing or thinking about doing are not morally okay <laughs> um, and so it is quite an interesting watch for sure but at the end of the day I would recommend you guys to give it a watch if you have Prime because you're gonna have a good time especially if you love black comedy um, and you don't mind body horror you know and a little bit of gore <laughs> all right you guys I hope that you enjoyed this TV show review let me know down below if you watched the show what you thought of it and yeah let's talk about it in the comments thank you guys as always so much for watching and I hope to see you all in the next coffee time bye